Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is my video tip of the week. I was recently asked by a member of our site how to apply a effect to a voice so it would take its normal voice to make it sound like it was on the radio. You've probably heard these type of voices in, in radio commercials. There is a way to do it in Sony Movie Studio and I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, find your audio track which is right here. And then on the audio track, click the effects button which is right there, audio track effects. You'll see there's always three track effects already built in. And what you want to do is you can either modify these to change the audio, and you can modify it live, which means you can play the audio, and while the audio is playing, you can move these and listen to your output to see what it sounds like. You may not get the effect that you want just with these three track effects here, so you can add another effect. And to add effect, you go over here to the Add Effect plugin chain and click on that, and that brings up a list of track effects, and you'll normally see all Sony third-party track optimized VST and FFX packages. And if you click all, you'll see that you have a lot of them. But the one we're going to look at today is VST, and this is a new feature in Sony Movie Studio 9 Platinum, is the ability to use VST audio effects. And just to give you an example of what you can do, we're going to select the radio effect, and you know we double-click it, it adds there, and then click OK. And that brings up a little box here that we can change, and if we listen to the audio now, you see that it's slightly distorted and you can adjust these knobs while it's playing to change the way your audio sounds. Now if you don't like that effect you can use the effect removal right there, click that, and you can go back and look for other VST effects. I have a few VST effects that I like and they all have different features. And this one has a scope and I can go in and select default effects. And I'll bring up a few more that you can see what they look like. This is a vintage sampler emulator effect, and again, you can change these while you're playing. This is a broadcast processor where you can control the threshold of three different frequency ranges while it's playing. It's a really nice effect. So you may be wondering, on your own Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, when you click VST, you don't see any effects. So how do you get those effects? Well, it's fairly easy to get those effects. What you want to do is you want to go to Google and search for VST effects, and you'll see there's a large number of sites offering free VST plugins and effects. And I just went to the very first one and downloaded a few of the VST effects until I found the ones that I want. These are free, and they're easy to install. Now, to install these, you want to go to your Sony Movie Studio, and in Sony Movie Studio, you want to go to Options and Preferences, and you'll see a tab that says VST effects. And the VST effects, the first field is the, the default VST search folder. And this is going to be the folder that it will be looking for VST plugins. So when you download your VST plugins, you want to unzip them into this folder. And when you unzip them, if you have Sony Movie Studio open, you click refresh and it'll show you the new ones. And you'll be able to use them as soon as they're available like that. Anyway, this is easy to do. And again, we did it by choosing the track effects, selecting add plugin choosing VST, which brought up our, all the VSTs that we had installed, and then going through those and choosing the one that we like that worked for our project. It's easy to do. VST effects can be found free on the web. It's a feature that's built into Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 9. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more like this at www.bmyers.com.